In this video, we are going to make a sensitivity test to an electronic device based on HBM, human body model. We define sensitivity as the lowest voltage that can change the characteristics of a device. That is the maximum voltage that the device can withstand. Electronic components can be damaged with just 100 volts, so it's really important to perform sensitivity tests. In order to do that, there are some simulation models, like the charge device model, the machine model, the human metal model, the system model. But in this case, we are going to focus in human body model, which simulates the discharge from a person to an IC component. In this figure, we can see the circuit and here we have a table where we have a classification for the components based on their sensitivity from class 0 to class 3b. So, what is the procedure to follow? 1. We have to characterize the devices under test in order to know what is the correct or standard working. 2. We have to establish the points where we are going to apply the stress. 3. We determine the critical path. 4. We start testing, applying the stress. And 5. We determine the class basing on the lower voltage that has damaged the component. But before that, we have to set a protected area where we are going to work with sensitive components. Here we have our EPA with an antistatic surface and a grease strap connected to a common ground point where we connect all the conductors to. We have also removed the isolators from the area. The grease strap is used to crown personal as we can see in this video. We have our EPA, so we can start measuring the characteristics of the devices under test. In our case, PMOS BS8203 from Philips Semiconductors, whose IV characteristic is shown here. On the left, there is the one taken from the datasheet, and on the right, the one measured with a carb tracer for M1. This measurement is repeatable in all cases. We have also measured the drain current for the same drain source voltage and different gate source voltages, obtaining the values shown in the table. Those values coincide with the ones in the datasheet characteristic. Now we can start the test. We must do it starting with the sensitivity level described in the datasheet. When there is no specification, like in our case, we have to start with the first level, class 0, which corresponds to 250 volts. Following the standard, we will apply 5 pulses positive and 5 pulses negative to the input and the output. It is relevant to say that in our case we don't have to establish a critical path, because we only have one, from the input to the output. Here we have the installation for the test. With a power supply, a high voltage DC-DC converter, our MOSFET transistor, and the HPM circuit, composed of the 1 megaohm resistor, the 1 kiloohm resistor and the capacitor. We start the test. We apply 4.4 volts because with this input value the high voltage converter gives 250 volts at the output. When we finish, we measure M1 parameters again, 
Seeing the IV curve, we can see that the characteristics are approximately zero. If we measure the values of the drain current, we obtain the same. There is no current at all. So we can determine that the MOSFET has been damaged. We repeat the characterization for the rest of the MOSFET. And all of them fail at 250 volts. Therefore, we can conclude that this device belongs to class 0. If it hadn't failed, we would have continued with the test, applying the voltage associated with the next class. In this case, class 1A, 500 volts. The date sheet of this component brings no information about the ESD sensitivity. This reveals the importance of performance sensitivity tests to know what is the maximum voltage that our devices can withstand in order to prevent ESD damage. I hope you like this video and see you in the next one.